Good morning. So today we have a very special event happening. Sharon is in labour. Sharon, my pet sheep. There she is. Okay. Of course, with all my pets, there is drama. We have Matilda, my pet cow, who had to have the cesarean yes. because her calf was coming backwards. <laughs> and now we have Sharon, my pet sheep, who is having a lamb backwards. So she's been in labor for ages, making her little chattering noises. Yeah. We saw the string of mucus, but I noticed that the mucus was changing color from a lovely clear strip to quite a bright orange one. And the labor wasn't progressing. <laughs> So let me just show you what is actually happening. So I put my hand, Uni, yeah. I put my hand inside of Sharon and what I can feel is basically this. Yeah. So I can feel a tail and I can feel two the legs back of, of the back of two, two back legs. legs. Yeah, definitely a tail and two back legs. Now that's not a normal presentation. What a normal presentation is, is two front legs and a head. And because she hasn't got the pressure of that, you know, it's not designed to come out. The legs are stopping it. So there's nothing happening. Um, we do have to be quite careful with lambs coming backwards because if, if things get stuck around the tummy and they take a breath, their head is inside of the U still with all the birth fluid in the sac. So they're gonna inhale birth fluid. So once we get those legs in the correct position, we've got to pull it out quite quickly. Yes. So um, what's got to happen is we've got to push the bottom forward. We've got to cut the hands in our hand yeah. and lift them up, pull the legs out. Yes. And then once we've got everything in position, pull it out quite swiftly. Yes. Quite often when they come backwards, we swing them by their back legs as well. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna go over to Peggy over here who works for me um, and is carrying out the essential job of lambing on the farm. So she's allowed to come to the farm in, the farm in these COVID restricted times. Um, and she's gonna to try to do all of that. So first of all, she's going to um, put her hand in. She's already washed it with disinfectant and she's got lubricant on. And she's just sliding her hand in now to have a feel around. You can see the bright yellow discharge that is just underneath as well. There we go. You can see, so the lamb is quite stressed. We can already tell that because of the color of the birth fluids that's coming out, it's quite bright orange. So, what Peggy's doing is pushing the lamb forward, which Sharon doesn't like, obviously, because she spent all this time trying to push it out um, so that she can grab the back legs. Steady, girl. Good girl. How are you going? One. Good. So one leg is now up and in position yeah. so then that's two two legs okay so now that we've got two legs we got two yeah swiftly that's it and pulling sort of upwards out. that's right normally we'd go in a curve but because but they're because backwards, backwards, we are gonna have to yep. pull it straight. Yep. So then they don't get a deep breath. So in what I'll do is I'll hold the legs. If you want to slide your hands in to try to help stretch. There we are. That's it. That's it. Good. Okay. So clear the mucus from its face. That's it. Swing it. Yep. Give it a swing. So that just tries to dislodge any fluid that it might have swallowed. And then we lie it down. There we are. It's already got its head up and shaking. Good. Excellent. Yay, Sharon's had a baby. There you are, sweetie. I think maybe we'll stick a bit of, it's gone very still. So we'll get a bit of straw. Oh, there we are, nice sneeze. Just when I thought it was all going quiet. It's 
very fluidy though, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, get it to sneeze a couple of times, I think. No, I that's don't good. Sneeze. We do like a head shake. Oh, you're being a lovely mum. Hey, even after all that discomfort. Yes. Good. So it's got really good responses and reflexes. So even though it's getting quite yellow, it wasn't actually that distressed, but it was pooing as we pulled it out. <laughs> yes. So I think, you know, it was only going to get more distressed. There was no way that she could have had that on her own. Um, so, so that's a lovely situation to be in now. The thing is, she's having twins, so what we would do, because this one was coming backwards and everything was held up like a bit of a traffic jam, then this lamb is a little bit distressed, but the second one could be even more distressed. But we will let her, we'll let her bond and, and lick with it for about five minutes, but we're not gonna dilly-dally too long before we check to make sure that the other lamb's okay as well.